Elizabeth. Hi. How you doing? My name is Dr. John Pont. I'm one of the consultants here. I can do this for you, okay? Elizabeth suffered a stroke at 6.15 in the morning. Uh, it was a witness stroke, so we knew the time of onset of her stroke. She lived in the catchment area of NACE General Hospital. So she went into NACE General Hospital and was in NACE uh, two hours later at about 20 past eight in the morning. And the stroke doctors in NACE put a phone call in to us here in Beaumont Hospital, explained the scenario. We're actually able to see the imaging from NACE, which is very beneficial. And so together we're able to decide that she was a suitable candidate to come to Beaumont Hospital for a thrombectomy. What I do, the thrombectomy, is a procedure which has come along in the last five years or so. So she, as yet, she has not established a permanent stroke. We're treating the patients who would have the most severe kind of stroke. They're having a blockage of a major artery in the head. And if they don't have that reopened, they end up with what people would typically understand as a severe stroke, where they would have a dense paralysis of one side of their body and perhaps be unable to speak, unable to understand, uh, unable to go about their normal daily activities. And their life would be utterly transformed. So we did that procedure in the standard way where we make a puncture in the artery in the groin. Uh, we advance uh, catheters and wires through the blood vessels up into the vessels of the neck. And then we pass the smaller wire, smaller catheter, uh, all the way up into the head. And in fact, we pass it past the clot. And then we deploy the stent retriever and it deploys across the clot. And the first thing that does is grab onto the clot, but it also pushes the clot a little bit to the side and so restores some blood supply so that that brain tissue is getting some oxygenation in the meantime. And when we pull the catheter all the way out, we find a very tiny little blood clot sitting on the top of the catheter. And uh, so then when we go back and uh, we see the picture, we see that there's been complete restoration of the blood supply to the brain tissue. So that when we restored the blood and we restored the oxygenation to that brain tissue, she very quickly recovered. So while she was still in the room with us, in fact, her hand, which had uh, no power before, all of a sudden she was able to move it and she was able to raise her hand above her head herself. Patients will recover to very good functional independence very quickly. In fact, they'd be suitable for discharge from hospital within a few days. Instead of being potentially several months in hospital, they can be discharged within a few days.